That's quite annoying. How's it going, guys, guys, and MVP pals? I'm Alice from Wonder Wonder, you favorite Kiwi trans girl, and I am something of a scourge upon the internet. A scourge upon the world. Is it any wonder the social media gods are against me? Something has happened. Something really quite frustrating. It happened over the course of a single day, out of the blue, with no recourse, no warning, or any way to fix it. I'll just go straight out and say it. My Instagram account with almost 30,000 followers and millions of video views was permanently banned the other day. Completely without warning. I got out of my car after my morning commute to work, checked my Instagram, and saw this. We have permanently suspended your account for breaking Instagram's guidelines on adult sexual solicitation. Hmm. That's weird. You see, I never posted anything vaguely sexual, only ever fun reels and the occasional cute photo shoot. So I had two options here. I could either appeal, and if the appeal failed, my account would be deleted immediately, or I could do nothing and have my account deleted anyway in 180 days. It's not really an option, is it? So I appealed, and within a few hours, my appeal was denied, and my account was permanently deleted. Literally within the space of about four hours, my account went from being completely fine, no warnings, no strikes, no nothing, to being completely, permanently, and irreversibly banned, deleted from the internet. Years of posts following my entire transition progress, and 100,000 likes, and tens of thousands of engaged followers, millions, over two millions of Instagram real views. My account wasn't superstar large or anything, but it was not small and it took a long time to build up. But now that we're past my factual retelling of the events, how does this affect me? Well, to be honest, I'm f***ing laughing. <laughs> I am gaining notoriety. You see, a year ago I was also banned from TikTok. I'm collecting social media bans like a Cub Scout collecting badges. Isn't it strange that almost a year to the day that I was banned from TikTok, I get banned from Instagram? Coincidence? I think not! Clearly, the social media moguls have caught wind of my queer army. Now, Winnie the Pooh's reasoning is simple enough to understand. Once I take over America, China is the next logical step, and I know for a fact that Xi Jinping does not want to be a femboy. But what about Zuck, the lizard? There's no way he could have felt expressly threatened by me unless... <gasps> my documents were leaked! Someone must have stolen my documents and shared them with him, and it would have revealed that he occupies one of the top spots on my force femme hit list. It's an inside job! But seriously? I mean, it's kind of lame, but it doesn't really affect me at all. I'm a YouTuber. This is my main platform. I haven't properly used Instagram in a while. It irks me that there was no warning, and I do feel frustrated at having lost millions of views. I think they were probably a bit hasty on the trigger. I mean, say what you will about YouTube, but at least they have a strike system. Your channel doesn't just get immediately and irreversibly banned. And for what, honestly? What did I genuinely do? I mean, all I f***ing used my Instagram account for was to bait horny men for DMs video content. Oh. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of makes sense, actually. Where am I going to get chases from now? I've got enough DMs saved from pre-ban for one more video. Coming October, by the way. It's a spooky edition. But after that one, I'm going to need to find a new source of DMs. Hmm. Requires more thought. Honestly, that is probably the most annoying part of being banned off Instagram for me. That is an actual problem. And yet still, I think the ban is wrong. Yes, I may have baited chases a little bit, but I- but adult sexual solicitation? That's a bit harsh, don't you think? I never once asked for inappropriate images. I never once requested or showed any interest in meeting IRL. The worst I ever did at any point was some vaguely flirty roleplay. And newsflash, Instagram, that's what half your users use your platform for. So way to go, Instagram. Ban the girl that received the unsolicited dick pics and not the accounts that sent them. Fucking ridiculous. Oh well. Anyway, if any of you were wondering why you couldn't find my Instagram account, that's why. And of course, the real reason I wanted to make this video, aside from it just being genuinely funny, is that I wanted to point you in the direction of my new Instagram account. Link is in the description. 
Go give me a follow. Do not let Zuck beat me. Show him that I am undefeatable. Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, Lord. and become a member and be a commissioned officer in my queer army. Members get lots of cool bonuses like special content, and I even did a studio tour for all of you lovely nerds out there. See you in the next video. Go on. Fuck off.